हे गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ फिक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू एट अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन सी वॉट आर सी एस एस ट्रांसफॉर्म प्रॉपर्टीज सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर सीन हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट सी एस एस ट्रांजिशन सो टूडे वी आर गोन सी इन लाइक ट्रांजिशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म अलॉन्ग साइड ओके सो what are some of the transformation properties that we have so the properties that we are going to learn today are this rotate scale skew and translate so before coming to properties let me give you a short idea of about what does this uh, mean first of all so let's say if i wanted to rotate any box so in that particular case we will be going to using this transformation property so let us see all that thing with the help of our vs code first of all so here i am back on my index.html page so i am just writing down like opening my template html template that we have and let me just rename this as title and after title i want it to have a div and two div div inside div i wanted to have and i also wanted to give it a id of container and let's say a class of let's say box okay and for this title what i will do i will just write down style tag over here and inside this i want my container to have a display of flex and justify content center i want along with that i have wanted my items to align at the center just because i wanted my box to be at the center of the page so in this box property what i can do i can pass on a height of 200 pixel and a width of 200 pixel along with that i want it to have a background color of let's say red it will look fine i guess so let us see first of all with the help of live server yeah so it is like looking fine no issues in that so if i just give it a height of let's say 600 pixel then i guess it will come to the center of page yes it is looking ri nice right now so okay so let us talk about transformation properties the first property that we have is transform and rotate so if i wanted to rotate my box uh across 50 degree so instead of this percentage sign i need to pass on deg degree see i am saving this first of all let me just divide my screen into equal parts see first of all right now you are able to see that my box is rotated through 50 degree okay and if i want to make my box vertical so in that case i need to pass on the 45 degree because that's a square symbol yeah so it is perfectly vertical right now okay it is standing on its edge yeah so that's the rotate property if i wanted to rotate my box by 360 degree then you can see it will get rotated by 360 degree see okay so with the help of transformation we can like rotate our box but let's say if i wanted to rotate my box very smoothly with the help of transition so how to achieve that thing okay so let me just do one thing instead of transform i will pass on transition property over here and for all the properties and whenever i am hovering over this box i want my transformation to be uh rotated along 360 degree i am saving this so right now whenever i am hovering over this what's happening bro okay so you are not able to see the see this because 360 degree is same see whenever i am hovering over this 60 degree you are able to see but 360 degree is same as 0 degree okay because as it is a square so let's say i want this transformation to be done at very smooth so let me just give it a a uh, duration of 2 second and then i will pass on 360 degree i am saving this thing right now if i go here see how i am able to rotate my box properly 
इट्स अ नाइट नाइस काइंड ऑफ एनिमेशन और ट्रांजेशन यू कैन से ओके सो द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट वी हैव इज स्केल लेट्स से आई वॉन्टेड टू स्केल माई दैट पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स टू डबल ऑफ इट्स हाइट एंड विथ आई एम सेविंग दिस एंड वेन एवर आई एम होवरिंग ओवर दिस सी हाउ माई बॉक्स इज जूमिंग इन एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग बैक टू इज पोजिशन सो आई विल शो यू वन लाइव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस आई थिंक दिस फ्लिपकार्ट डॉट कॉम यूजेज दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजिशन सो लेट से आई एम ओपनिंग एनी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स डिटेल पेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओके सो वेन एवर आई एम आई विल होवर ओवर दिस इमेज सो यू विल एबल टू सी द पेज लाइक द इमेज इज गेटिंग जूम्ड इन वेरी प्रॉपरली एक्यूरेटली सो इन दिस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्लिपकार्ट वेबसाइट अवर स्केल प्रॉपर्टी इज बींग यूज ओके बट इट इज यूज इन वेरी एडवांस वे दैट आई विल टॉट यू इन अवर अपकमिंग सेशंस नो इशूज डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ओके सो द थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी अपार्ट फ्रॉम द स्केल दैट वी हैव इज क्यू सो स्क्यू इज बेसिकली इफ आई वॉन्टेड माई बॉक्स टू टिल गेट टिलटेड बाई ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज देन इन कैट इन दैट केस आई विल यूज दिस क्यू प्रॉपर्टी सी वेन एवर आई एम होवरिंग ओवर दिस राइट नाउ इट इज गेटिंग टिलटेड बाई ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो इट इज यूज टू मेक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन of let's say 3d theory type transformation okay and yeah that's the that, that's the only meaning of this queue if i make it let's say 280 uh, let's say 270 degree i am saving this yeah so right now you are able to see how how it is looking like yeah so that's that's the whole thing behind this transformation property this queue property basically after that we have one uh, another property that is translate so i am just using translate over here and let's say uh, i am using translate x and i am just making it 20% over x axis see so are you able to see some difference see whenever i am hovering over this my box is going somehow on the right side okay so on 20 side it is moving on x axis it is moving 20 like 20% if i am giving let's say minus 20% it will move on to the right side okay so minus 20% it is moving on left side so in the same way i can pass on the y y axis it will go upwards for minus negative sign and for positive 20 degree it will go downwards see whenever i am hovering over this right so that's the thing instead of 20 if i make it 50 then you will able to see it properly let me see for 50 it is going down coming back to its normal position so in this way we can also translate it and let's say if we if you want to make 50 50% for x and y axis and right now if i hover okay i guess it will it will go for it will not go for both in one go yeah so that's the thing you can use for like transforming over this thing okay okay here should be the this colon translate if i want my uh box to hover over like to translate along z axis then it will go to the z axis by using this i think y for l and y it will work properly and for z if i pass on this percentage sign yeah it is still it is still working so yeah so that's that's the thing and in this way we can perform various transformation on this box using our css transform property and for this i am using this transition property so if you haven't watched our previous video do check our web development playlist and do subscribe our channel if you are new to the channel and i will see you in next video with some interesting topic until then goodbye guys